Hi everyone. <clears throat> so we're doing something a little different today. Um, doing nails is probably one of my favorite self-care routines. I love it. I do them. And um, for years I used those little plastic nails because acrylic just, I, I had troubles with acrylic. And then um, found poly gel and OMG, whole new world. <laughs> And I've wanted these nails since I was a kid, and I've actually been able to wear these without hardly any problems for about a week now. And they're amazing. So <clears throat> some of the tips have gotten a little dull. Um, this top coat kind of started chipping. And since they are one of my first sets, they're, you know, not perfect. But they are starting to grow out a little bit. So what I want to do is kind of clean up underneath the nail and um, kind of smooth out any side edges. And here, I want to be able to add in a little bit more poly gel to kind of straighten out that little dip there. But, <clears throat> um, so that's what we're going to try to do today is a little nail maintenance. <clears throat> and I also have no idea how I want to do this video. So we're just kind of talking and rambling right now. And we're going to kind of see what happens. <laughs> oh, hey, you know, but that's how you learn, try new things, right? Okay, so I am, I love this nail file. I was actually, <laughs> okay, I'm not a professional. I don't know if that was clear or not, but I'd like to make this disclaimer. Not a professional. And I was using my, uh... What is that? What's the, no, I can't remember. Um, the bigger version of this that, you know, makes designs. I'll think of it later. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so that thing I was having, it, it was really scary because it's like really a lot faster than these things. And so I went ahead and ordered one, ordered a little nail file and I was, and I ordered different tips because the metal was, you know, is working. But then I tried ceramic. Love these ceramic tips. These are amazing, phenomenal, best things ever. <laughs> Personal opinion, but hey, you know, it's cool. Got a little coffee drink this morning. I did not sleep well last night, so. And a little pick me up. And honestly, I just love coffee. So, okay. I don't know if I'm in the way of this or not. Okay. So, you see how it just went around there? Lesson, you need some kind of stable anchor. And this is my non-dominant hand. I'm right-handed. So, um, you know, we're learning. We're, we're trying to figure this out. I don't know how this looks on video. I guess I'll find out when I'm editing. So, we're just going to kind of smooth out this underside. And actually, I'm kinda, I don't know if I want to go the other way. Whoops. I think I just shut it off. Okay. So, yeah, I have not been doing these for long. There we go. That's, whoop. Now, when it goes around the fingernail like that, I've figured out that, you know, you can just kind of top coat and cure it and it's all good so part of the learning process is figuring out how to fix your mistakes <clears throat> oh, yeah this is uh, a lot harder to do um when you're I'm doing it with your non-dominant hand, you know? So, <clears throat> alright, well you kind of get the idea here. <clears throat> or maybe I should just do them all, I don't know. I was originally thinking about doing them, just showing you one nail and then kind of doing the rest off camera. But... I kind of do that stuff with all my other videos, so maybe I should just 
with this play? I don't know. I could play it and then timestamp it. Oh, that's a good idea. It might take a little longer in editing, but that would be better for the video. Oh. <sighs> yeah, so we're learning. We're, you know, practicing. <laughs> But I love these polygel nails, like... These are just... Whoever invented these is amazing. Good job. <laughs> I'm, I'm a hobbyist, not an expert, so... I don't know that kind of stuff. Um... <clears throat> This one actually is pretty. A little flush with the thumbnail. The tips get a little bulky sometimes when you're. I don't know. Okay. So shut this off. Give me a little. <clears throat> there we go. Kind of clean these out a little bit. And I'm doing it on a super slow speed, like two, because we're learning. <laughs> and, you know, whenever I slip, I don't want to do any damage to my actual fingers. Oh, I do want to show you, <clears throat> I was really proud of these marble nails. Those took me a while. Um, if you're interested in how I did it, I might do a video on that too. But I was pretty proud of those. This one kind of accidentally used uh, um, a dual form that was a little bit too small. But hey, that's how we learn, right? So, nail file. Now what I want to do is kind of... I don't know if I'm in camera or not. I kind of want to smooth out these edges a little bit. Just to clean them up. And <clears throat> one of the... Um, uh, I guess I, I have this kind of uh, idea of a, of the kind of look I usually want to have. And I have found that the more maintained I keep my hands, the better I feel. And um, also... The more maintained you can keep your fingernails looking fresh, the more expensive you look. <clears throat> and, you know, it's, you know, being human is interesting. <laughs> this might turn into some kind of philosophical video. How about that? Um, but, you know, people aren't supposed to judge, but people judge. That's what they do. So you can't stop people from judging you, but what you can do is present yourself and how you want to be judged. And regardless of what's real or what's fact or what's truth, people are going to think what they want to think. But there are some things that you can do that will cause people to think certain things. And <clears throat> if you have well done, oh man, that's kind of falling apart. This came with the uh, one of the poly gel nail sets. Anyway, um, if you have can have nice nails looking like nice looking nails all the time that aren't really grown out or chipped or anything like that you look expensive you look like you are higher maintenance which you are <laughs> so see how that works anyway um it does it 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 makes a difference in how people treat you it really does and regardless if i have my nails done or not um, I still kind of get treated the same, but when my nails are done, I think it's because I feel better and I feel more confident. So then I get treated like that. 
<clears throat> but it also helps that whenever your nails look good as much as possible, then it keeps you feeling and looking good as much as possible. And you do get treated differently. And you know, oh, that's not right, whatever. That's just, that's life. That's people. And you, <laughs> you really can't run around trying to tell everyone what to think about you because that's still just going to cause them to think whatever they're going to think about you. <clears throat> and worse, because now you're, you know, trying to tell everyone what to think about you. So, <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> I don't know where that rant came from. I think, it, okay. The rant came from the fact that part of the reason I enjoy doing my nails is because I, I get to really go down these mind rabbit holes, cause you to think, cause you to reflect. And self-reflection is, in my opinion, one of the most one of the best ways for you to do self-growth, self-acceptance, just, you know, trying to be a better person or not even be a better person, just trying to understand yourself better, understand how you view the world, how, what kind of effect does that have? You know, it's like just because you see the world in a certain way does not mean that's how everyone else sees it and when <clears throat> they no when other people don't see the world the same way it's not your responsibility to try to get them to see the world that way it's also not really possible to get someone to really fully understand and see the world the way you do even as like I as a psychic tarot reader or whatever it's like there's still always stuff you don't know about hmm. yeah see okay now these are looking a lot more like clean kind of getting a little nicer point on there looks good well, it's looking better. I mean, you know, not too bad for hobbyists who's doing this for first time. But new obsession and <clears throat> oh, if we want to get on another rant. Um, <clears throat> when I was a kid, my uh, my hero was Morticia Adams. I love her. She's still one of my heroes. Morticia Adams is amazing. Her character. Like, the, yeah. So, um, anyway, I was actually Morticia for Halloween when I was a kid. And the only way you could, the only nails that were like this back then were those ones with those little sticky stickers that you put on there and they pop off immediately. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> my mom always gave me shit about it. And, you know, made me feel some type of way that having those kind of nails was like, you know, it just wasn't, it's like having tattoos. It just, it was taboo. It just wasn't, people didn't like it. It wasn't accepted, yada, yada, yada. And I am from a town of 200 people. Most of that being family. <laughs> we had to drive 20 minutes to go get gas. And so that means I went to a small school. I actually graduated with, well, the normal class is about a hundred kids big. Anyway, um, how was I going? With? Okay, grew up in a small town, so of course you know there's you gotta. There's no room for experimentation or for something out of the ordinary. You go to church, you go to work, you survive. <laughs> anyway, so I got a lot of shit for wanting these nails. And I have not, I have officially cut my mother out of my life. And it's been the best thing I've done. Honestly. <laughs> and <clears throat> since then, I've had a lot of my dreams come true, including having these nails. And I love them. 
They are more amazing than I ever dreamed of when I was a kid. And you know what? This is just another confirmation that saying F you to my mother was the right decision. Because all I would get if she, if I were to go visit, all she would do is make me feel bad or make me feel some type, whatever type of way she wants to make, try to make me feel about my life decisions, including what, how I want my nails. So I love when I have little childhood dreams and memories come true, even get like having these nails. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I feel better. I feel more stable. And I know that sounds really weird, but it's just like, you know what? What is wrong with these nails? And you know what? Not a damn thing. <clears throat> oh, one of my favorite. I wish I would have remembered this quote when I was a kid. Of course, I didn't have the balls to stand up to my mom when I was a kid anyway. So, um, it doesn't matter. But now, one of my favorite quotes, I think I've seen it floating around the internet too, is... Uh, what's chaos for the fly or what's normal for the spider is chaos for the fly. Love that quote. And you know, I love spiders. So. Chaos. Here we go. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, but you know, you have to tear stuff apart if you want to rebuild something better. <clears throat> I guess now we know kind of what this video is doing. We're doing some deep talk and shaping. <laughs> I don't know. Is that what the video should be called? I don't even think I'm going to edit this. I'm just going to let it play and see what happens. Yep. Official. That's what's happening. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. So, Chrome, too. Oh, Chrome. Mmm, talk dirty. I love me some Chrome. Oh, okay. So I've actually been doing practice nails with the poly gel to get better, but I've also was practicing with the chrome because there's like a little kind of dent in here. And actually, I, these were matte first. This was a black matte. And this was gray matte. But the all of my matte top coats, they after a couple of days start like chipping. So if anyone knows of an of a like a top coat matte top coat that doesn't chip or if you have any tips or tricks they would be much appreciated. But to be fair, I love chrome more than matte anyway. <laughs> matte was just easier cuz top coat new. So chrome though, oh, amazing. But yeah, it does show any kind of dents or anything that you might have in there. Just a, you know, in case you didn't know that already. Again, this is, we're hobbyists. We're learning. So, we're going to learn and grow and hope for the best. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Just shaping the edges because, you know, when nails start growing out, that fat part in the nail... I don't know, whatever. This, I know, okay. So I know, wait, this is the apex. But I was talking about, like, the width. Is that still the apex? Anyway, this big part here, when it starts growing out, looks funny. So I like to keep them kind of looking slim and neat. I like it tight. My husband always says he likes it tight and white. <laughs> All of our vehicles are white. Yeah. Every room in our house would be white if I let him. He likes that really clean, and it's not just white, it's just he likes the really clean, tight, clean look. But I get it. I like my stuff tight and clean too, but, you know, there's more colors in the world besides white, babe. Oh. And you know what? I actually did not bring my chrome. I'm doing this at the office. I thought I'd get better work done at the office than I would sitting on my bed, but 
You know what? That'll just be an adventure for another time. Okay, I honestly have no idea how I'm doing keeping my nails in this video. I'm assuming probably not the greatest since it's my first, well, it's my second time doing a nail video. The first one I was had the little plastic nails that I was talking about earlier. And they were too long because I was doing a lot of um, painting and um, I actually built the whole inside of my office. So maybe we'll get a, maybe we'll do a tour one of these days. But anyway, I was building stuff, painting stuff, had to cut them down. And they were chipping and they're just not durable. But these things, man, these things are amazing. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm probably not using this thing right either, but you know what? The nice thing about not having formal education is that there is no right or wrong per se. You know, you don't want to injure anyone. You don't want to get hurt. But at the same time, I don't want to be put in a box <clears throat> by doing things the way that a school taught me how to do them. Because, you know, I love learning things, but formal education is just, its it's got its ups and downs. I mean, I, I went to college. I'm not doing anything with my degree. <laughs> Chemistry, in case you're curious. And here we are doing nails, right? Yeah, so <laughs> I actually didn't want to go to college. Um, I wanted to go to beauty school. Oh, man, look at this. We might get some more healing done doing these nails my mother kind of um i'm gonna say manipulated me she manipulated me into the fact that beauty school was not good enough and i had to go to college now to be fair when I was in high school, I was taking college classes. So when I graduated high school, I already had my associates. Or is that, yeah, whatever the first two years. So I was a junior when I graduated high school. I was a junior in college. <clears throat> now, by the time that came around, I told mom, my mother, that I wanted to go to beauty school. And she was not having that. But hey, mom, look. Guess I'm in self-taught beauty school and still not using my degree. <laughs> so that might be a lesson for anyone if you're having problems with your children and whatnot, trying to get them to do things you want them to do. You might end up alone, them hating you. And actually, you know what? I don't even hate my mom. No, there's still some hatred there. Okay, cool. We're still working through it. All right. <laughs> I'm trying not to hate my mom just because I don't want to hold that kind of, you know, energy in me. I don't want to hold that. Oh, we got company. All right, come in, Danny. Okay. Sorry about that. <coughs> All right. Whew. Mm. <coughs> the hubby is getting ready to mow. He's got to mow all his properties. And, oh, doing a dab. <coughs> Whew, that was a big hit. Okay. <sighs> he likes them sharp. Yeah. Told him I would sharpen my claws. And he wanted me to give him a back scratch and gave him goosebumps. It was awesome. So, hey, you know what, Mom? You don't like my nails, but my husband does. And that's all you can ask for. And what's funny is that he's wouldn't, you wouldn't think that he would be the, he's not typically the type that would like these kind of nails, but he likes, he likes how they make me feel. And he likes, if it makes me look good and feel good, then he likes it, which is nice. 
And, you know, now he gets, now he has extra sharp back scratchers. So he's actually really digging these now. <laughs> See, and sometimes you just got to give stuff a chance in order to find out if you like it or not. Oh, he did bring our little kitty kitty. She's running around. We have a <clears throat> couple of office cats. My husband and I have side to side offices and the cats usually stay on his side and uh but sometimes bring over little kitty kitty i found her next to the dumpster right outside our office and i sat down and she came right up into my lap and i told the hubby we're keeping her and i brought her inside <laughs> why well, i said can we oh there she is I said, can we, but you know, can we meant we are. Well, hi, sweetie. And she's just going to get all up in it. Yeah, like kitty kitties do. Yeah, you're sweetie. Oh, yeah, she likes these new sharp nails, too. Yeah. Does that scratch feel good? Oh, does it scratch feel good? We get some kitty loves. Oh, you get some kitty loves. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, well, let's pause this and do some kitty loves and then. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, I got kitty hair, kitty loves. Life is good. All right. I'm still kind of. I like them. I'm trying to get them pointy. I think this one's got. This one has. Ugh, that's an old <clears throat> habit trying to break. I'm from a hillbilly family that whose English isn't that great. So trying to, you know, <laughs> work on it. Kinda got those shaped a little nicer. We're gonna try this again. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's see if my right hand's any better than my left hand, yeah? Sorry, okay, hold on. Yeah, let's see if I can how to do this. I'm not going to fill them <clears throat> um, yet, but I'm going to try to do a fill video, and I've actually never done a fill on myself before, so that'll be a new This one's kind of end up a little bit short, too. There we go. Oh, I love these because look, all that dead skin, you can just kind of. Oh, it's amazing. And actually, I don't want to do this too much because that's where the, that fill I was talking about. We're going to do that on the fill. But that was sticking up. Kind of, you know, get rid of it. And I'm, I don't try to grow my nails out, they're fake. <laughs> they're, you know. I, I do them all the time, so I'm not trying to keep them some type, some, 
you know, nice looking way, the real nail. I do use um, those. <clears throat> I don't like using ceramic on the real natural nail. Because um, that freaks me out. Like, <laughs> you know, you can do a lot of damage real quick on accident. Especially because I'm not a professional. So, I do like to use that, the mandrel with that like real fine sanding bit. Sanding. Whatever. I have used ceramic on my natural nail. Which is why I find out I'm not a big fan. I didn't hurt myself or anything. But I felt like I very easily could have. And we've already seen, see, like that, slip. We've already seen slippage. And that was on the chrome nail. Yeah. <clears throat> so, there we go. Um, of course, this one's kind of a, I got a lot in that one. And, you know, oh, yeah. I'll say I'm sure I'm doing this, you know, probably not right, like I said. But we live and learn. Um, on, on this finger, I actually put the, well, on both, I had put the matte top coat on the top and the bottom, thinking that might, you know, and on the sides, thinking that might help, um, sorry if I'm in the way, that might help <clears throat> make the matte top coat last longer, but it didn't. It actually started chipping on the top. I didn't do two coats. I guess maybe I should have done two coats. That might have helped. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of a, a weird area. I'm trying to do this in the camera without getting in the way. Usually I just shove my face in it and I get real close. Try not to get in the camera too much. If you want to see my face, I have tarot videos. <laughs> that probably look a little better with, you know, minimal makeup on, but... Ugh, man. Kills me hearing that because it's chrome, so it's like, ugh, and I didn't bring it. It wouldn't bother me, except I didn't bring it. So I'm just going to... Well, and actually, we'll just put a top coat on it and... If I, because it, it should have just scuffed the top coat. Aha! Hey. So we'll just top coat it and hope, I don't, you know, didn't mess it up too bad. As I keep messing it up. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Shut her down. Shut her down. Alright, we're going to leave that one on there in case I need it. Again, for any reason, but I like to take them out whenever I'm done because I don't want the ceramic to break. I love that this little <clears throat> little one. I love this, but you know I'm really like into detail. So there you go. I also like this. There, it only came with this one little tiny round one. It's so small, but I do like getting in under the fingernails with this one. That's nice. But I was just kind of getting it smoothed out. <clears throat> I actually had a bunch of poly gel baked on underneath there because I earlier I said I was practicing making nails and doing the chrome. And yeah, it gets it can get a little messy sometimes. <laughs> All right, so <coughs> excuse me. Um. I'm thinking those are okay, looking pretty good. I didn't want to like spend all day on them because I do need to actually get some other stuff done. But this one, I remember the top coat is kind of chipped, so I want to smooth out. And it's my non-dominant hand, but I want to smooth out this edge because this one I put two layers, two top coats on, so when it chipped, it like like a there's an actual like line I 
And I'm trying not to take off too much product, too much poly gel. Yeah, I'm still getting used to actually working with them on. Like I said, I was building before and um, I was wearing really short nails because I was painting and building and, you know, using saws and caulk and drills and some of those things hard to use with long nails, caulking especially. All right. I think I might actually have one video that shows one of the rooms that I'm working on, the office. <clears throat> to be honest, I have about a thousand things going on at the same time, but I don't like to be bored. <laughs> All right. So yeah, the dirty towel, you know, that's why I'm using it for nails. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to, uh, okay, that looks, I don't know, should I keep buffing that out? I might keep buffing that out. It just does not look very good. Now, I know we're putting a top coat on, but it's, I don't want, you know, like this, this chrome, this nail has a few dents and stuff in it, so I'm trying to, you know, I may look as professional as possible. I don't know. Just because I'm doing them at home doesn't mean I have to make it look like I'm doing it at home. <clears throat> and I actually did want to go to beauty school. So it's like if I was to go to beauty school, I would still be trying to do a good job. Okay, what am I doing? Top coat. All right. Top coat. Perfect. This one came with one of the poly gel sets Coosberry, Coosberry, Coosberry. There you go. You can take a look at it. Um, I actually really like that set. It's, um, I, they had like the, you know, the sets that have the pinks and the white and the clear. It was, that was the first one I, I got and uh, this is the top coat from that. Um, this this one I'm wearing now is a different set. It came with gray, like well you can see gray and the silver. I love that sparkle, and the white, <clears throat> the black, and the gray. Yeah, I think I said gray. It actually came with two grays. I did. I don't remember it supposed to be coming with two grays but I also didn't really look that close to be fair so <clears throat> we're just gonna have two grays and try to pay attention next time it was off of Amazon it was like one of those you know $15 kits and my guess is that they're not real Making misses. They're not exactly, you know, triple checking their work. But that's okay. Because sometimes we end up with things because we need them, not because we want them. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I've had a pretty good time just chatting and painting, chatting and doing nails. Um, I don't usually ask for validation, but I'm going to this time, and I'm gonna ask if you have any tips or tricks or suggestions or 
if you actually liked this or it, what kind of changes you would like. That doesn't mean I'm going to do them, but that does mean I would like to take them into consideration. And see what your thoughts are. So if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, please. Add them in the comments. <clears throat> Especially if you know of a good matte top coat. I would like a nice matte top coat that doesn't get shiny after a few days. Well, I'd like one that doesn't get shiny at all, but you know, I would, you know, like to be realistic. <laughs> Okay, so, <clears throat> well, I didn't plug in my little lamp. All right, well, let's pause this real quick and fix that. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <clears throat> now, this one goes for 90 seconds. I'm gonna do it for 90 seconds just cause I'm gonna, you know, get a nice good bait for the top coat. But how much, difference does the 30 seconds 60 seconds and 90 seconds like I've been trying I know for the chrome if you're doing chrome you gotta only bake it for 30 seconds and then it's like I put a top coat on top of the chrome and then I usually do it for 60 or 90 just because it's like the top coat so I try to just bake it <laughs> so I don't know how excessive that is if anyone knows, again, add those to the comments because I'm curious. I could probably look stuff up on the internet, but, you know, I'd rather just experiment and have self, you know, self-gain knowledge, personal knowledge. Like, I'm, I'm not about trying to read something and regurgitate information. I'm about actual experience. And from my actual experience, I do know that there's a difference between 30 and 60 seconds, but I don't know how excessive the 90 is. I like the 90. I tend to be excessive. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> Sorry, I got kind of stuck all I didn't really plan this. This was a, um, you know, kind of a spur of the moment thing. I say kind of because I had the idea last night, but it was like, all right, yeah, I'm going to do that. But I didn't actually like, you know, plan it out. I just kind of was like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Sure. That's kind of, I, I used to plan stuff out, but it's like, I can't anymore. Um, Cause I'll get stuck in the planning stage where it's like, I will go so many different directions that it's like, I'll never even start. So <clears throat> the best way for me is just do it regardless of, you know, just regardless, just do it. And then whenever you're doing it, that's when you're going to figure out what you actually need, what works for you. Yeah. So it's a much better process for me. I, I actually start a lot more stuff that, you know, instead of just sitting on it, thinking about it, I don't like doing that. I like doing things, but it's like starting is the hardest part for me. It really is. So that's the whole thing behind the video. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a nervous laugh. I don't usually get nervous. Like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. How about that? Well, we're still here doing it, so. Oh, it's much nicer. And I'm also learning how to use this gel polish. Because, <clears throat> you know, being a, when I was a kid, 
everything was that real liquid piano polish. And I'm a, you know, real quick with that. That's, of course, when you, that's when you're, that's what you learn on. It's funny because that's what my husband and I would use. He, we do our toes together. And, uh, it's like, gosh, you're fast, freaky fast, painting those toenails. It's like, yeah, thank you. But then, got this gel polish. And I just mushed it on the paper towel. And gel polish is not normal fingernail polish. How about that? <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Okay. So, yay! This has been learning time with Ashley. That's me. So stupid. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate all your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, feelings, you know. And we'll see you later. Okay, well, I thought it was going to be done, so that's a little awkward. You know, it's like one of those things where it's like you say bye to someone and then you both walk the same way. That's what that was. So, you know what? We're going to ride this out. <laughs> and then I can give you a kind of a, a, well, there, you can look, take a closer look now that they're touched up. Wow, 90 seconds is a long time when you're just sitting here. Watch the pot never boils. My grandma used to say that. All right. Ah, oh, look at that. I know it doesn't look like it did too much, but for me, they're cleaned up. They feel better. They got a new top coat. Shiny, sharp. Woo! All right. See you later.